Hello everyone. We will discuss the next topic is based on speed torque characteristics, different types of drives. First, what is the drive? We have to discuss here. So, drive means simply so a motor, so any electric motor with controller, with controller. Some generally we are using the controller is power electronic controller. So this combination of this controller and the motor, we can call it as the drive. We can name it as the drive. Okay, right. So first we have, first we will write the different different type of drives. First drive is the constant speed drive. So second is constant power drive. So here speed will be the constant and the complete power will be the constant. Next adjustable speed drive. So we can adjust this. So that means speed can be adjusted. In this again we have two types. One is the constant torque variable power drives. That means here torque will be constant and the power will be variable. Next, constant power and variable torque drive. Constant power means power is we have the constant and torque is variable. So these are the different, different, different types of the drives. So these drives are practical application of the any machine because whenever the controlling is available, that time we can control the speed. Otherwise it is not possible. That's why drives are very very important factor first we will discuss about the constant speed drive constant speed drive so for that purpose the we have to draw the we have to draw the curve between the torque and the speed so by varying the torque by varying the torque speed will be fixed look at here x axis is the torque and y axis is the speed here torque will be varied from 0 to some particular point here the speed will be the constant so in order to understand this we will generally use generally we have some motor this motor having mechanical coupling generally we have some motor this motor consisting of this mechanical coupling so electromagnetic torque is always applied on this and and we have the inertia it has to overcome the inertia that means mass and we have to inertia we have to overcome the friction and we have to overcome the load that means this complete electromagnetic torque generated by this motor should overcome all these torques that should be equal so that's why I will write the electromagnetic torque will be equal to the all these torques. So the torque electromagnetic will be equal to the load torque or inertia torque and friction torque and the remaining is the load torque. So generally if the motor is steady state condition that means it rotates with the so here mentioned itself speed is constant speed is constant that means under steady state condition it is not starting condition and running condition it is under steady state condition that means automatically this value will become zero j d omega by dt will become zero moment of inertia will become zero then then we can remain the electromagnetic torque equal this value will become zero the remaining is moment uh, b into w plus t r that means this is the tb frictional torque frictional torque tb we can write is the frictional torque and TA we can write is the inertia torque 
inertia tau okay finally we can write the speed here the speed equal to electromagnetic torque minus the load torque by v by v okay so by using this phenomena here by varying the load torque speed will be the constant speed will be the constant this is the relation between the speed speed and electromagnetic torque and the low torque and the frictional frictional constant okay so here it follows the that thing next so what are the applications we have constant speed drive the applications for the constant speed drive is first it will be used as the fan generally in domestic purpose in industrial purpose we are using so many fans that is the nothing but the constant speed drive next centrifugal pumps centrifugal pumps in generally these are used in agriculture agriculture those are the centrifugal pumps next hydraulic pumps so we have much applications the hydraulic pumps okay lath lath machines in the cloth areas it will be useful next air circulators air conditioners also we can give blowers and the group drive these are the different different applications for the constant speed drive here the constant speed drive is generally shunt motor this is a very important thing because the flux is constant here so generally you can look at e equal to speed equal to eb by 5 flux will be almost constant eb will be slightly decreases speed will be slightly decreases not high slightly decreases so that's why constant speed drive is shunt motor constant speed drive is the shunt motor okay so this is about the constant speed drive next constant power drive so here name itself it is a constant power drive how can we write the power power equal to you know torque into speed power equal to torque into speed so how can we define this speed speed is angular velocity so we can write 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n by 60 right so here the power is proportional to two things one is the torque another one is the speed remaining all are the constant that means the multiplication of the torque and multiplication of the speed both should be give the same power there is no change in the power okay next so here we should get power should be constant that means the constant is torque into speed from this we can write torque is inversely proportional to the speed torque is inversely proportional to the speed look at here we have the torque and it is inversely proportional with the speed for the low torque low for the torque value high low speed so it will follows hyperbola it will follows hyperbola okay speed torque characteristics are a rectangular hyperbola if you look at here this is the rectangular hyperbola it will follows the rectangular hyperbola right so this is about the constant power drive characteristics we have so many applications regarding the this constant power drive the first application is electric traction electric traction generally in it must be useful in railways it must be useful in the railways electric traction first locomotives locomotives means local trains generally in local trains means mmts those are the locomotives next cranes so we we have you know that the cranes cranes are very useful to lifting the any weight cranes 
next lips are hoist both are same lips are hoist both are the same here next so these are the different different applications what are the applications first the first application is electric traction second is locomotives third is cranes fourth is lifts are hoist lifts are hoist okay at starting high torque is required generally we have some important point here at starting high torque is required after starting generally no inertia we don't have any inertia that's why we will get j into d omega by dt here we have no inertia means it will become j will become the zero then automatically j into d omega by dt will become the zero okay so starting we have high torque after starting it will become j d omega by dt so that's why the speed will be zero constant power drive is generally dc series motor dc series motor okay so constant torque constant speed drive is the dc shunt motor and constant power drive is the dc series motor okay so this is about the constant power drive constant power drive and constant speed drive okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you